Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a really interesting setup, I've got the new Asus Store 2.5 gigabits right over here, which I'll be sharing in just a few seconds, the speed test that we can get out of it. And I also have a Sabrent 2.5 gigabits adapter to my Mac Pro and a 10 gigabit adapter, Thunderbolt in this particular case, to uh, 10 gigabit connected to my uh, Mac Mini right over here. And I've got the new Drive Store 4 Pro, also known as 3304 uh, from Asus Store. I've done the unboxing in Portuguese, so I will leave a link right over here. And really, really soon I will share my own review with you. But today the star of the video is the new Asus Store Switch, which I will leave a link down below because the name is a bit complicated for me to pronunciate. Now, what we are going to do is a speed test uh, really quickly, but I want to explain first of all what I've got connected right over here. Now, first on this cable right over here, which is a flat cable and is the kind of cable that I would suggest to use on this uh, kind of switch because we have the power adapter at the back and then we have the Ethernet connections at the front. So I would suggest to put all the Ethernet cables uh, to the back like I've got this one right over here and it will look really awesome, really clean and tight, which is not at this moment because I don't have more flat cables. Now, having that in mind, uh, this flat cable goes to my one gigabit switch that I've got on the back. So it goes to my overall network. And that's the only thing that will be connecting at this moment at one gigabit speed. So everything that connects besides this door will be one gigabit because I've got a limitation back there. Nonetheless, all the other ports at this moment are working in 2.5 gigabits, which is really cool. So I can connect either my Mac mini or my MacBook Pro directly one to each other or directly to the NAS and take full advantage of the speeds that we can get out of this NAS, which has a 2.5 gigabit port. And this is also one thing that is really nice. We don't need to upgrade our old network just at once. We can upgrade this corner, for example, where I do have NAS. I want to take full advantage of this device and then the other devices will access through a one gigabit switch for uh, watching movies and things like that. So if I want to transfer big files, I will use this one right over here, which has the 2.5 gigabits. And we can start extending our network this way with a really nice switch such as this one. That being said, let's go for a speed test. And on my next video, I will share here with you with all this setup, how you can set up one server of open speed test so that you can test at home your own network between two devices, Mac OS, Linux or Windows, which is really nice. And we have been using for quite some time iPerf 3, which I love. This one has a visual interface that to me looks more attractive and that's really, really cool. So let's take a look here at the screen. We have open speed test. I've got the server right here on my Mac Book Pro. So they will connect directly through the network over the uh, Asus Store 2.5 gigabits and let's take a look at what we get. So let's press start right over here and bam, there we go. 2.3, 2.4 gigabits, 2.4 something, 2. Point, we have touched the 2.5, but there we go. This is 2.5 gigabit switch right over here on one side. So we are pulling from uh, the MacBook Pro to the Mac Mini and right now the opposite side, we are pushing data to that side and there we are once again pushing 2.4 something, reaching the 2.5 right over there. So the last result was 2.436, which is 2.5 gigabit speed. And this is just awesome because we can take advantage of uh, devices such as this one. We will have roughly 250 megabytes per second reading and writing on this NASH. Now, one thing that I would like to show you, and I have the disk speed test right over here open. So I wanted to test out the NASH and share with you at this moment but I've got a small issue and the issue is simple. If you take a look at the screen of my MacBook Pro, you can see that I'm doing right over here a reconstruction of my RAID 5, which basically means that I just formatted my hard drives, a clean installation so that I can start testing a lot of stuff. And it says that it will take roughly 8.4 hours more or less. So yes, this is part of the first initialization of any NAS unit from Asus Store or any other brand. It will, it can take a little bit more, it can take a little bit less, but this is the normal standard. It is building everything, so it will take quite some time. At this moment, is writing at 100 megabytes per second, which means that if I do a test, which I did before starting recording the video, it will give me roughly 150 megabytes per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to test because it will not give me the fastest result possible. I will wait and we'll do that on the uh, full review along with all the other features that this Nash has. Well, not all because I won't be able to 
say all of them because it has a lot but the overall features and tests that i will do i will join in the speed test and share with you so if you want to watch that just subscribe to the channel if the video was helpful in some way don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated and if you want to check out the next which will be how to install a server the very easy way no command lines just a software here and there and that is it and stay tuned to the channel subscribe and a thumbs up as always my name is Roberto george and i'll see you guys on the next